everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry bag unbagging and some items that I have listed. So pretty proud of myself that I started listing again on eBay because I was really not digging it, but I'm just going to try again. But I'll show you. These are some really old vintage coral earrings. Those are cool. I listed this. This was that 800 sterling pendant. The um, replica of uh, part of Michelangelo painting. You know, the Sistine Chapel. That was cool. This, which is uh, a Denmark artist, makes these ceramic or um, kind of like redware. This is a pendant of a fox. This I thought was interesting. I think it's, I don't know what CU is, but it's a really older pin with a C clasp, some enamel there. And these, which I was really happy to find out that these were, um, can't tell if you can see that, but it's Mexico and it's that the name is can you see it? It says Sterling on there. Oh god. I think it's is it more M A R G O G O T Margo Marga to Taxico. Yeah, I mispronounced things too, because I'm not sure. But those are super cool. Um, if you look up that maker, this sterling and I'm going to say it's like a turquoise colored glass. This big chunky sterling locket. Huge tiger's eye. Ouch. This vintage smiley face because I just love it. This is that uh, oak bog uh, morning brooch, Victorian. This is the MMA Sterling USA brooch. That's a big one. And this is, I believe, Monet. I think this also comes in white, or is it Trafari? Trafari. The chiclet necklace. And this lot of acrylic jewelry. Some buttons and a brooch and a pendant with the pink flower. So I think that's pretty much all I have so far. But I'll leave my link. Now I have a big bag of stuff, which I love this color. But I think Brody needs to come in. Yes, kind of like a, a very pale turquoise color. That's pretty. I don't know what's in here. I'll dump it out to the side. Some very worn earrings. Basically what was in the bag. Oopsie. I remember those kind of birds, right? Two lovebirds. This is weird. Is this part of a necklace, I think? Something missing down there. And some of these. Not sure why they were all. 
I mean, a lot of them are hoops, but I'm not sure why they were all in a bag together. And this one of those magnetic bracelets. One size fits all. Some kind of, it's not fabric, but it looks like it, right? I don't think that's real turquoise. No. Looks like da dyed howlite. Kind of in um southwestern or um, you know Native American look to it, but. Oh, here's another one of these magnet bracelets attached to something that's obviously not sterling. A dirty bracelet. This looks like a teething ring, but I think it's just a bracelet. Weird material. These look like Avon that are not any longer in the box. I would probably have a box somewhere, or maybe not. Because Avon would make a lot of faux marcasite like that. Ooh, this is a necklace. This looks painful. I can't imagine wearing that, even if I did have a small neck. This bracelet almost looks like that brand I know it's not pronounced money. It's like money, something like that. That's what this reminds me of. But it should be marked if it was. But then again, who knows? It's got some rock crystal. And all these funky beads. Very organic looking. Boho, is that what we call it? Maybe, maybe boho. Just a blue, blue thing. I had a set of these earrings before. These are always cool. Kind of 80s disco, right? They feel so nice. I'm gonna dump the rest out because it's kind of a pain to keep grab it in here. There we go. Okay, these are definitely Avon. And I think I have the box for them. That's something with nothing on it. Cotton. Oh, there's the other earring. These are heavy. Whoa. So, they're not not pearls or even fake pearls. It's more like a, like a hematite or hematite, however you want to say it. I haven't gotten um, anything that's been on a chain in a long time, but I love the necklaces that are beaded on a, a thin chain, the vintage ones. But these are definitely hematite, hematite. However you want to say it, this is red, green, and kind of a cream color. It's not wood, but it kind of looks like wood. I've never seen these little these little pad things for these. That's cool. Oh, Hong Kong. Maybe somebody made that. You know, the little round thing. Looks like kind of an acrylic thing. A very worn out stretch stretch bracelet. One of these. This looks like some sort of bone, maybe. That's definitely a natural stone. I'm not sure if it's jasper or something like that. Lots of brownish beads. These are glass. 
A lot of boho -y stuff. One of these bracelets. I found a bunch of the other ones. Is that a fish? I found a whole group of these and they had different shapes on them. At first I thought it was a bee, but it looks like like a fish. Cool. And this little bag. Oh, oh, no, no. Has some broken pearls. But they honestly, with that, um, they definitely look real. They're not exactly round, like cultured pearls, but they definitely look real. So I like those. They have a nice, uh, shine to them. I can't remember the word that I'm trying to use. And then this. Not shine. <sighs> Anyways, I think I showed this in my, my sale that I had gotten from Etsy. This is a um, lamp work um, someone had did that they do like lamp work. This is a Figa and They do all this glass work. I mean, it's It's just so impressive and beautiful. And I love the colors um, That was on Etsy If you want to look at her stuff She doesn't know I'm even putting it on my YouTube <laughs> But she does a bunch of her own glass work it's um Alexis Burger. But I just want to show everybody how beautiful her work is. I want one of these hearts. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll put the link um to my eBay and I'll also put um the link to my um whatnot so i'll be trying to do something there soon and also my email if you have any questions or you see something but anything that i showed that was on ebay is that that's where it is and i'll be having another sale i had one friday thanks for everybody who joined me um you can watch the replay there's plenty of stuff available um and i'll talk to you soon thanks don't forget thumbs up and subscribe for more videos Thanks, bye.